have a look at these clubs. The Marxist Ethical Coffee Drinking Society, <laughs> Portuguese Equestrian Club. It says the Harry Potter Club can help you build networks, help you get a job. Maybe I should join. I've been trying to find a job for ages. Majak, you might want to go a shade lighter, bruh. What do you mean a shade lighter? Put it this way, bruh. You're black. Like, really black, okay? And that could be affecting your job opportunities, man. What are you mm. talking about? What I'm saying is, white fellas are more accepting of black fellas when they're a lighter shade, okay? You gotta go more Denzel Washington and less Don Cheadle. You get me? All right. Why do you think Obama became president? Because white people are more accepting of a lighter shade. That's true. Okay. Now, what kind of job are you looking for? Anything. Don't just go for anything, bruh. You gotta stay in your lane. Pick a good black man job, like a bouncer. Jack, don't listen to him. You can do any job you want. This is the land of great opportunity. It's you guys. You're the United Colors of the Useless Immigrants. You want to fight? I'll stomp on you if you want to fight. Just joking, man. <laughs> Had you guys going, didn't I? <laughs> Just working on my De Niro. Come on. Get the heck in here. Come on. Go. See, Magic? Gotta give it a try. Have fun with the next person. Nah, man. That's not my thing. Come on. We've been standing on this door all night. Boring, man. Really? That's not my thing. You know, these guys, they don't even let me into the bar. Come on, can we go? Excuse me, can you let me in? I'm on the list. You're giving me attitude? I decide who gets in here, not you. Mess with me, I'll tie you up, or I'll kill you. Hey Kenny, you have to join our support group this year. I'm Aussie. Why would Australian join the international student group? Well, you don't look Shut up! <laughs> you know I'm Australian! Hi. Is this the support group? Where are you from? Craigie Bird. <laughs> and Aussie had an international student group. That's a bit rich. Hmm, yes. By the way, what are you doing here? You're always telling us you're Australian. <laughs> Hi. Uh, my name is Dennis, and I've had some trouble fitting in. Do, do you guys like hanging out? Do you play cricket? No. I play for the university first. Are you into cars? Are you into footy? Do you ever drink beer? Um, I'm gluten intolerant, so no beer. I ride my bike, and I'm not really into sports. Who is this guy? This isn't the Loser Society. That's over there. <laughs> okay, does anybody have any issues or concerns they want to raise? Yeah, I have an issue. A big issue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My mother said that I'm being selfish, and if I don't marry this girl, she will die of embarrassment. I'd rather a dead mother than marry that thing. <laughs> this girl's family has lots of money in India. Well, they probably did before she ate all of it. <laughs> Honestly, the whole arranged marriage thing is fine with me, but I can't marry a fatty. <laughs> Uh, how long have you got? My mother has given me six months, and then the marriage is on. Well, you're pretty much stuffed, bro. You better hurry up and find a new girl before then. Clock's ticking. I'm no good with girls. So I'll just set you up with one of my girls. Will you? Yeah. Right, check, check her out. Nice. But remember, 
don't be a pussy. Girls like men who don't take crap from anyone. I always do that and I slay the pussy. <laughs> you gotta strong arm a bitch sometimes, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> this guy's so weird, man. <laughs> like, like my mum, the other day she was like, Dennis, clean your room. And I was all like, piss off, mum. <laughs> Well, it's fun. Hey, Julia. Yeah, I'm here. I'll be there in a minute. Let's just meet on the corner. Okay. I have a date. We want justice. 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 After a recent spate of assaults, Melbourne's taxi drivers are protesting for better working conditions. The people need to know that our taxi drivers are also humans. For the latest, let's cross to Jane with more on the scene. The protesters want the government to ensure safer working conditions for the taxi drivers. Here is an artist's rendition of the man police believe is the culprit of the latest spate of taxi driver assaults, dubbed the Taxi Terrier. Let's speak to one of the protesters here today. Oh, excuse me, you and the other protesters here today have stopped city traffic. Do you believe you've got your message across? No, no, not all Indians are taxi drivers. What? No, hey, no what I'm not saying? a taxi driver. Hey, 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 not that hey, there's hey, anything hey, wrong hey, with being hey, a taxi hey, driver. Hey, I'm hey, just here hey, meeting hey, someone. Hey, Wait, hey, let me explain. Hey, no. I saw you on TV the other night. I didn't know you were uh, moonlighted as a cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. There aren't enough Indians on TV. Kenny, what do you think? Enough you guys on TV? I am Australian. So sick and tired of people not recognising that. Well, you don't look at Wow, it. you've got to be kidding me. I was born here, so are my parents. I've been playing cricket my whole life. I've even got a Southern Cross tattoo. Hmm. Well, there's a way around that, brother. In order to blend in with the white man, you've got to look a bit more like him. Now check this out, you've got to de-Asianise yourself. So a doctor friend of mine, he's a great plastic surgeon. He can stretch out your eyes and make you look at least 25% more angle life. Okay? Seriously, it's all above board, check it out. Half Asians are really trendy at the moment. Uh, uh, um, I do not speak Chinese. What? Black man can't speak Chinese? Ooh. Cheers. Can't believe people give you money. I'd do anything to get a job. You told a young blonde girl that you were gonna punch her. What am I gonna do? I need to get a job. I need to pay rent. Madak, don't listen to him. Found the pavement asking all businesses if they need help. Don't take no for an answer. You're a smart and a talented guy. taking people's money. Oh, come on. I see it as white man paying his Koori landlord, okay? People paying rent. People give you money? Yeah. I'd do anything for a job. Well, if you want a white man's job, brother, you gotta tailor it to the white man, okay? I mean, your name's a bit African, isn't it? Yeah. My junk doom gok. See what I mean? I mean, the Asians get it. See, yeah, that's not your real name, is it? You're just accommodating to the white man. No, my bloody name is Kenny. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Look, what I'm saying is, I've got a drug dealer friend. Okay, he tells his customers his name is Pablo and that he comes from Colombia, all right? Because no one wants a drug dealer from Baldwin and Brian, okay? Listen to your Uncle Willie. Change your name to something less African and you'll be fine, boss. 
Yeah, that's right. You boy bangs. Uh huh. My life is so hard, for real. But from now, I'ma do what it takes to change up. Yeah. Mr. Ari yeah. Goldberg for the job interview. Uh huh. That's me. Come on. My life is hard to leave. Hey. We're in Italiana. Okay, listen up fellas. Willie's Seduction School is now in session. Lesson number one. You gotta start dialogue with a girl. Now look, give me a phone. Come on boss, let's go, let's go. Which is about to come true, I am gonna get you a date with that girl you like. Ta da! She wants to see you tomorrow, brother. You in? Thanks, you're the best! Probably. Yeah. Okay, lesson number two. Why should a girl like you? What makes you unique? What makes you stand out? It's hard being unique, but you're from a country of over one billion people. This is true, my brother, but I got a solution. Black it up and be unique, right? Now check this out. This is the number one Asian bar in town here. I'm the forbidden fruit. They love me here, right? I'll black it up and I'll kill it. Okay, over here. Shape shift, uh, lecture time, nigga, take a seat. Schooling doses, bars a week. They're a waste to beat. Intoxicated blaze, feeling the heat. Check the temperature. I'm hot as hell to you, cold and seas. I raise the mercury. Get the feminine Lizzie in the more masculine than her <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, man. You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Asian bar. I can't believe there's Asian bars in Australia. Oh, come on, it's just playing the odds, isn't it, Kenny? I mean, there's about a billion of you Chinese followers, so chances are you got to find someone who likes you. <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm off. Oh, come, Kenny, hey, 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 come hey, on, hey, man. Hey, Kenny, you're easily replaceable there, Kenny. There's another, like, billion of you guys. <laughs> Not cool, man. Too far. You can't say that. Racism is not cool. What do you mean? You guys make that joke all the time. You don't understand what it is like to look different to everyone else. Okay, now for lesson number three. One word. Peacocking. How do you spell cocking? Peacocking is the art of standing out, all right? Making a good first impression. I mean, you gotta make a girl remember you when you first meet her, okay? That's why you gotta dress crazy. Hat, scarf, shirt, chain, all right? Be unique, black it up, and follow my lead. Girls love it. Let's go be great. Hey, Malik. Black it up, man. That's something I know how to do. Black it up, man. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, black, black it up. It up. This is my cousin Raj. Raj. You may be able to get you a job. Hey, can you get Madaka a job as a taxi driver? Whoa, whoa. I don't drive. I can be a taxi driver. <laughs> I didn't know how to drive and I came. Hello? Yeah, I can make it tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. Guys. I got a gardening job for my employment agency. Ah, <laughs> I'm a yes, boy. Yes, yes, you go, yes, boy. Yes. Hey, I need a kebab. I'll take you. Okay. Do you want to drive? Let's go. See you guys later. Oh, see ya. See ya, guys. See ya, man. Let's celebrate. My dark has a job. And thanks to Willy, I have learned the art of seduction. <laughs> yeah, you go, boy. Hey, this is Taxi Jerry. Drive it. 
That's a taxi terrier. Yes. Yes. Oh. That's a taxi terrier. No, no, I'm not a taxi terrier. I'm Indian. See? I'm just trying to wire it off to meet a girl, you know? Peacocking. It's him. It's him. Yes. Can, can you help me show us how you're kung fu? Yeah. Now this guy, you want kung fu? Hey, I'm not Chinese. I'm Australian. You don't know kung fu. Get it! At least my jack got a job. Thank mm -hmm. you.